I'm Nick Shell, and I have invented a theory that I need your help. I need your help with this. Will you please leave a comment after I tell you what we're going to talk about? Here's the deal. I invented, I invented, I invented a theory that no one else said on the internet. First, it was me. So anytime you hear someone talk about it, they're quoting me, they're referencing me. Here's how it works. You want to know how to, how to predict hair loss? There's main, two main obvious ways to predict it. The first is to look at a photo of yourself when you were exactly one year old. Not a year and a half, not six months, not eight months, one year old. Your mom took a picture of you at one year old. Ask her for it. Take a look at it. Look at your hairline. My theory is that however your hair was then, that's a, an accurate pro projection of how you will look as a 35 year old man. And if you want to see this, I've made other videos. You can type it in the search box, you'll find it. Okay, so what I want to know from you is, how was your photo when you were one year old? And can we use that as a prediction? Okay, so for example, if you're 30 years old and starting to really see some thinning and recession, chances are if you pull out your photo, it's gonna, it's gonna be a glimpse of the future of what you're gonna look like in five years as far as your hair goes. Now, with that being said, I've built this into my theory, the 80-20 rule. This is accurate 80% of the time, meaning 20% of the time it's not. So that's why I want you to tell me whether this is valid for you. The other part of my theory, the other way to predict whether you're gonna lose your hair or when you will, is, <laughs> the other way is for you to look at your beard, okay? Now, question about the beard. My theory is the sooner you could grow a beard, the more likely you are to lose your hair. For me, I could grow a beard, full beard, connected beard at age 16, which was unusual where I was from, okay? However, though, I am a Norwood three. So my theory is if you have the genetics to grow a beard sooner than most, you're gonna be losing your hair sooner than most. The opposite of that part of the theory is true as well. If you couldn't grow a beard until you were 30, there's a good chance you're not gonna really have any major hair loss issues, okay? So those, that's my theory. My theory is men who go, go bald sooner, not only will it show up in their one-year-old one photo of themselves as a projection of what they look at at age 35, but also that if you grow a beard, let's say by the time you're, while you're still in high school and you can grow a full beard, that's a good indicator that you're gonna be experiencing some hair loss sooner than most, most men. Now, I serve as a great in-between because I'm not bald, but I am balding. I've got a receding hairline. I'm in Norwood three, okay? So use me as a reference point if you need to. You know, what you're seeing is, is, a, it's a, is a letter M, you know? It's not straight across and it's not the V. It's actually, it's round up there. It, I've got a peninsula going on. That's Norwood three. So here's what I, what I ask you to do as you participate in my little uh, survey, I guess we could call it, all right? What I need your help on is to answer a few things for me in the comments, if you'd be so kind. Number one, how old are you now? Number two, where are you as far as your hair goes? Are you better off than me or are you worse off than me? See, that helps me because if you're 40, I'm 36, if you're 40 and you've got more hair than me, then that helps me know where to go. If you're 20 and have less hair than me, that helps me know where to go. So I wanna know your age. I wanna know where you are as far as hair loss goes. If you're not familiar with the Norwood scale, then you just kind of base it off of my hair that I've showed you. Do you have more or less than I do? And I've actually got some thinning up here too. All right, so I want your age. I want your hair status. I want you to look at your photo from when you were one and tell me how much hair you had as a one-year-old and I want you to tell me at what age you could grow a full beard. And if you still can't grow one, there you go, I'll go back to your age and see. I wanna close by saying this. This past weekend, my wife and I went on a date in downtown Nashville, my, when my parents were in town. We're at this place called Bar Taco, one of the best places I've ever been to in Nashville. And we were sitting at the bar because they were short on tables. And we were literally sitting like the, as far away as I am from you, from the bartender, cool guy maybe age 26, 27. And I said, you're not gonna go bald. And he laughed and he kind of knew it. I said, I'm looking at your forehead. You've got a low framed in, squared in forehead. And his, his shirt was kind of unbuttoned and, and his sleeves were rolled up. 
And then he said, I know, and I, but I can't grow any body hair. <laughs> and I have these conversations all the time with guys. The ones who can't grow body hair or a beard, especially into their 20s or barely can or wish that they could grow a beard, are the guys who probably don't have anything to worry about. They're the lower forehead guys, got a squared in, hairline like that. And they're the guys, that, according to my theory, they aren't going to really worry about hair loss or need to worry about it. They're not going to lose their hair. It's guys like us that could grow a full beard that are more likely. Because look, I mean, I'm 36 now, and this is okay for now. But I mean, by the time I'm 40, there's a good chance I'm going to be getting closer to just having an island and a big, you know, a bigger bald spot in the back. So I hope you're as passionate about this as I am. I think this is really cool. What I want to do is I want you to either prove me wrong or right. I want you to know I'm so eager for you to prove me wrong. I'm just as eager for you to prove me wrong as I want you to prove me right on this. So in review, here's how it works. I'm telling you that 80% of the time that my theory is accurate, that men who experience hair loss, meaning at least mine or worse by the time they're 35, did you get that? Men who experience major hair loss, which is at least mine or worse by the time they're 35, you can go back to their one-year-old photo and you can look and see how their hairline and thickness pretty much matched it because it's the case for me. Go back and watch that video if you need to. And also us guys that experience at least this much hair loss by 35 could grow a full beard by the time they were out of high school, which means the opposite is true, which means if you couldn't grow a beard by the time you're out of high school and your one-year-old photo shows that you have this big thick of hair, then my theory adds up 80% of the time. So what we're going to be able to see in the comments is, out of all the people who participate, for every 10 that I see, two are going to say, nope, your theory doesn't work for me. But then there will be eight that say it will. So please participate. Please prove me wrong or right. This is a fun experiment because no one on the internet or in the history of the world has ever presented this theory. And I'm very eager to prove it's valid or invalid. Will you do that? Will you help me out? Again, your name. How much hair you have based on, you know, at least less than mine or more than mine. What age you were when you could finally start growing a full beard where like if you had to shave it and then there's stubble the next day. That's what I mean by full beard. And, uh, and then, yeah, your age. Shall I say that? Okay. You got everything. Just do it. Help me out. Will you do this? This is, you get to be a part of something historic.